The forest was unnaturally quiet, a silence that pressed against the spaceman's helmet. He pushed through the dense alien undergrowth, his suit's external sensors picking up faint traces of bioluminescent spores. Mist rose from the forest floor, coiling around his legs as he trudged forward. He'd been wandering for days, maybe weeks. Time had lost all meaning on this strange planet. Come on, there's got to be something out here, he muttered, his voice sounding hollow inside his helmet. The wrist communicator on his suit flickered with static, and he glanced at it with a mixture of hope and frustration. Just give me a signal. Anything. The comms hissed but remained silent. He sighed and continued his trek. Each step crackled over fallen leaves and twisted branches, creating the only sound in the vast, eerie forest. Despite the vibrant colours of the foliage around him, he couldn't shake the feeling of unease. It was as if the forest itself was watching, waiting. Then, without warning, a low hum vibrated through the air. The spaceman froze, his heart pounding. It seemed to emanate from everywhere at once, a deep, resonant sound that sent chills down his spine. He spun around, scanning the trees, but saw nothing out of the ordinary. I know you're out there, he shouted into the void. Show yourself! The hum ceased. For a moment, silence reclaimed the forest. Then a voice, calm, almost whispering, echoed around him. Why have you come here, wanderer? The spaceman's eyes widened. He spun in circles, trying to locate the source of the voice, but it was futile. It seemed to come from the forest itself. Who's there? He demanded, his voice shaky. What do you want? Not what I want, the voice replied, amused. What you seek, you journey with a burden, lost in the stars. The spaceman's mind raced. Was this some kind of alien intelligence? His breaths quickened, fogging up the visor of his helmet. He felt exposed, vulnerable under the scrutiny of this unseen entity. I'm here to explore, he replied cautiously, choosing his words, to find answers. Answers are not found, the voice whispered, growing closer, more intimate. They are given. A faint light appeared on the trunks of the surrounding trees, illuminating symbols carved into their bark. The symbols pulsed with a soft, eerie glow, drawing the spaceman closer. Hesitantly, he reached out and touched one of the symbols with his gloved hand. A surge of energy shot through him, and suddenly his mind was filled with a torrent of images, stars swirling in the vastness of space, distant planets orbiting alien suns, faces both familiar and strange. He gasped, pulling back, but the images continued, flashing across the screen of his helmet in rapid succession. What? What is this? He stammered, clutching his head. Your past. Your future the voice intoned, now echoing within his mind. They converge here. The spaceman stumbled back, trying to break free from the onslaught of visions. He fell to his knees, struggling to control his breathing. His helmet's internal display began to flash a warning. Oxygen levels low. No, 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 not now, he groaned, fumbling with the suit's control panel. The mist around him thickened, taking on vague humanoid shapes that moved closer. Shadows without substance, yet they seemed to pulse with life. Tell me, he shouted in desperation, what do I have to do? To seek the truth, you must embrace the unknown, the voice replied. The shadows surrounded him, circling slowly. You are not alone, but you are one. The symbols on the trees blazed with light, casting a blinding glow across the forest. The spaceman shielded his eyes, feeling a rush of heat within his suit. Then just as suddenly the light faded, leaving behind an unnerving stillness. He took a shaky breath, then another, expecting the worst, but something was different. His helmet display flickered, then cleared up, showing new readings he'd never seen before. His vital signs were steady, his oxygen levels restored. The forest around him had transformed. What was once dark and foreboding was now vibrant and alive, the colours more intense, more real. Creatures moved in the distance, small and nimble, their forms fluid and ever-changing. They glanced at him but made no move to approach, as if acknowledging his presence. The spaceman raised his hand. The symbols on the trees glowed in response, pulsing gently as if greeting him. He stood there, awestruck by the connection he felt with his surroundings. It was as if the forest itself had become a part of him, or perhaps he had become part of it. What have you done to me? He whispered, his voice trembling with a mixture of fear and wonder. Given you the sight, the voice answered softly, now emanating from the forest itself. 
This world is not your end, Wanderer. It is your beginning. The spaceman turned slowly, scanning the horizon. The mist had parted to reveal a narrow path leading deeper into the forest. For a moment he hesitated, a surge of doubt bubbling up inside him. Could he really trust this place, this entity that had altered him in ways he didn't yet understand? But as he stood there, breathing the alien air, he felt something he hadn't in a long time. Hope. A sense of purpose that pulled him forward, urging him to continue his journey. With one last glance at the symbols glowing on the trees, he stepped onto the path. The forest seemed to sigh, as if exhaling a breath it had held for ages. The path stretched into the unknown, promising challenges, discoveries, and perhaps the answers he sought. He walked, leaving behind the fear and doubt that had clung to him since his arrival. The journey had only begun, and he was ready to face whatever lay ahead.